Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv and I want to talk about iPhone applications. Previous to this video, I had been discussing iPhone hacks and adding ringtones to your iPhone, but I never really got into the actual applications that you're exposed to. I had a couple questions about that from some people and I want to try to shed some light on that. So you may have noticed right off the bat that my iPhone looks a little bit different from your typical iPhone. I have uh, I have more than 12 icons. I have actually 16 icons, and I also have a background image to um, to the screen. There's actually my wallpaper, which is a uh, which is a nice. I think it's a picture from Japan, and it's uh, pretty nice. Um, I also have my icons arranged differently. Um, and all kinds of other changes but I got all of this started by using installer.app which I'll tap on now and there's a whole list of applications that I can choose from and uh, they have a feature section they have development they have games and they have multimedia network productivity so as you can see the list is very long um, system and tweaks utilities and all kinds of things so these are all third-party applications made by individuals in the community who are donating the software for free so that we can enjoy our iPhones even better as you can see some of the development uh, languages are Perl Python and Ruby you can see those here uh, there's also some uh, IM applications, uh, mobile chat, Apollo IM, and I'm going to install uh, Doc, which is uh, an application by Nate True, who I know via IRC. This, in addition, and it tells you here, in addition to the iPhone UI, in addition to the iPhone UI, you can drag from the bottom right corner of the Sunburst to switch between all of your apps. So that sounds pretty cool, but let's actually see it in practice. So at the top here, there's an install button. I'm going to tap that and I'm going to install package doc. So what it does is that it downloads it, unpacks it, and then installs it all automatically. And then when I go back to the home screen, it'll refresh it and uh, I'll have my application. Now I'm going to slide to unlock. And it's very hard to see at first, but now in the bottom right of my iPhone, there's a little sunburst here. So if I tap on that and hold it, I believe if I tap on it and hold it, yeah, it went away. <laughs> I actually started an application. Yeah, you have to tap on it and hold it, and you'll see these applications fly out of here. And if I move my finger across, I can switch between applications like this. It's a pretty nifty little app. So say I want to start photos, I just let it go once I get to photos and I can look at my, uh, let's go to my Labor Day pictures. Yep, and I can actually see some photos here. And I can flip it, of course. Typical iPhone stuff. So that's Doc, and that's just an, an example of adding a community-built application to your iPhone. I've also added applications such as, let's go to my uninstall list and show you what I have installed. I have Doc. Community sources is what gives me the ability to have all these applications uh, from various sources. I have iBlackjack. I have some IRC clients, uh, mobile Twitterific, which is coming along nicely. Let's show, let's show you that one real quick for all you Twitter buffs out there. I'm going to start Launcher because I have too many icons here. So Launcher is an alternative launcher to show you the applications that are not on the screen. So I'll launch mobile Twitterific here. And there we go. And there's the sound. <laughs> So it's coming along pretty nicely. It's got some nice transparency here uh, with the background image there. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be an update pretty soon to Twitterific or mobile Twitterific. And uh, it's pretty nice. So keeping with that, 
in the installer.app. Again, all of this started from installer.app that I can install these applications and enhance my iPhone. Now you're probably wondering how did I get that background image and all that stuff. That was something that I actually installed today and it's called Summerboard which is listed here. And it tells you in the description that Summerboard extends Springboard to add scrolling, wallpaper and soon more. And uh, it's maintained by Null River and it's pretty nice. So that was one of my pet peeves and one of my complaints with the iPhone was that I wanted the ability to customize this screen here, the launch screen, and add my own backgrounds. And somebody was listening. <laughs> so these are all applications on my iPhone. Now here's iBlackjack. Oh, they added the ability to place bets. That's brand new. So I have 18. And it says double tap to hit and swipe to stand. So I'm going to stand. And I lose. <laughs> so that's Blackjack for you. All right, so this is Buona from Buona.tv uh, on the eve of the Apple announcement, which is September 5th. Today is the 4th. So maybe Apple's going to be adding some of these features on their own. Uh, hopefully we'll see that. Otherwise, um, I'm going to continue to hack my phone and continue to add applications. And I'm just really thrilled with the community support of the iPhone. All right, everybody, see you later. And I hope you get an iPhone.